Hi guys, Andy here again from Mad Lad Designs with another in the print and play series. Um, and this one is Deep Space D6. Now, at the time of this video going up, um, this is on Kickstarter. So obviously this is the print and play version with my own made up things. Um, and the Kickstarter version will have obviously better components, um, proper dice as you'll see and all that various bits and pieces. So if this game interests you then it might be worth taking a look at the Kickstart. I will put a link in the description um, for the print and play files, also for the forum on Board Game Geek, and also to a link to the Kickstart page. So, Deep Space D6. This is a worker placement type game in which you are trying to work your way through a threat deck. Now I've just printed these out and put them on cardboard. Let's just take one at random. Oh, I'll just take the top one. Okay. So you're going to be working your way through these threats. You have external threats which go down this side of the board. You have internal threats which come over here. And you also have what I call um, global effects. And you'll see how that works as we play the game. So, we have two cubes. This is our hull. This, uh, sorry, these are our shields. This is our hull. If at any time our shields are at zero and our hull's at zero and we take another hit, it's game over. Game over, man! <laughs> so we'll start with these at full capacity. And of course I'll explain what all these symbols and all these different things and all this down the side here does as we play the game. So when we start, the first thing we do is we take and turn over. I'm going to give these a shuffle just in case. At the start of the game, you take and turn over two threat cards and you need to work your way through all the threat cards and if you're still alive at the end when all the threat cards are done you've won the game so we take our first card so we have a mercenary if no threats activate this round minus two hull of course I'll explain that when things happen notice there's a three here this is how many hit points it's got so we need to hit it three times in order to get rid of this threat and we have our little chart down here so this three goes to this three like so another threat nothing happens there's uh, a few of these in there so that's good so nothing happens we put that in the discard pile up, up the way there somewhere right so we have a load of dice now this dice is our threat dice these are our crew members. Okay, so what we're going to do is we roll our six die, our crew members, and see what we get. Right, so uh, we have a handy chart here that comes with it. It tells us what number belongs to what face because the faces are on here. Okay, so. Um, what can I do? Well, we have these twos. These twos count as weapons. So we can put them in our weapon section. For the first two, it hits for one point. For every other two, it hits for two points. So I can fire weapons and do three points of damage. One for the first one, two for every other. Which means because this is a three, I can hit this for three. And I could destroy it. But I'm going to see what else I can do. Um, we have three fours. Which come over here. Now the fours can be used. One four, except that's a five. <laughs> one four can be used to completely recharge the shields. Or it can be used to um, create a stasis field which will stop a threat from happening 
next turn. But I don't want to use any of these fours. I don't need to recharge your shields. I don't need to stop this threat. But when you use dice, or whether you don't want to use them, they'll go in this section here, returned. Um, so we have two fives, which is this section here. For one die of five, you can repair this one. For every other die, just like these, it counts for two. So that's one, two, three. So I could repair the hull for three. We don't need to repair the hull. So those can be returned. However, I am going to use these to do three points of damage. One, two, three. Two, um, a number of threats. You can split your damage between a number of different threats, but seeing as there's only one, <laughs> I'm going to go one, two, that is now gone, that's dead. We've used our dice, our dice are returned. Okay, at the start of the next round, we draw a threat. Let's see what we get. It's a drone with minus one hull. Now you notice there's numbers on. So after we've drawn a threat, which will go there, we roll our threat die. If we roll, and we have threats, if we roll any of these numbers, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so if we have a number of threats, and we roll a number, and that number is on a number of threats, then all those things are going to happen, whatever it says here. However, we've only got one threat, so let's have a look. This is our threat die. If we get a two, four, or six, and of course we've got a six. <laughs> so we got a six. Six, so now we're going to minus one hull. This goes down like so. Then we get to roll our crew. Oh, okay. We've rolled a couple of sixes. Now, sixes, when you roll sixes, they immediately go up here. If this ever gets full, if another six gets rolled, you immediately draw another threat. Okay, um, let's see what we've got. We've got a five and a four, a one and a three. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, we will use our three. I'll show you the three. Okay, three goes here. Three can be used to return any dice that are in their infirmary. Some threats say place your crew in the infirmary so they will end up here. But you can use a three, one of, the, one of these crew members, to then get back all die in the infirmary. However, we don't have any in the infirmary. So what we can do Instead of getting them back from the infirmary, we can reduce this threat here by one because we don't want that filling up to get another threat out. So I'm going to spend this infirmary die to reduce this by one. And then I am going to... We've got a five and a four. I think I will use the four to repair the shields. So one four repairs the shield fully. So now we've used that one. Then we've got a five and a one. Well, I'm gonna use the one, which allows me to then change any one die's face. I can do that, or I can re-roll any number of die that I have left by using the one. Well, I've only got one die left, so I'm going to change that die face to a two, which allow me to use my weapons for one hit. So one hit on the drone, which only has one. And that's gone. So I can get that back, because I've used that, and get that back, I've used that. That stays, however. So now you can see I've only got five 
crew members to deal with whatever threat comes out. So, take our next threat. Okay, an internal threat. So these go on this side of the board. Here. And you can only get rid of them by rolling these die faces, which if we look is threes, so we need to roll two threes in order to get rid of this. Okay, so they're distracted. Once that comes out, we immediately place a die on here, and when we roll our threat die, if we roll a four or a three, then this crew member is returned to us. If we can't wait, then if we roll these two on our crew, then we can get this back straight away. So this is going to go here to remind me that we have that. Uh, and then we're going to roll our threat die. And we need to place cars on there. So then we roll the threat. We do get a four, that was lucky. <laughs> Which means our crew member comes back to us. This is discarded. Um, we have no threats, so there's no real need to roll our die. We do we get the next one, which is a flagship with a four. Oh, and it's minus three hole. Oh, gold. So it goes to four. We roll our threat die. We get a two. This does not have a two on it, so this does not activate, but we do. Roll our die. Let's see. Um, two fours. Uh, two fives. And a three. Okay, I am going to use the three and the infirmary guy to bring back this threat because I don't know more threats. Uh, we don't need to repair any hull so we don't need to use them however I am going to use one of these as a stasis die so that will not activate the next turn if we roll one of these numbers however it does mean we are down one die so we return our laws and we carry on with the threat Okay, if you lose hull this round, lose one additional hull. Oh, right, okay, so that goes there. Um, let's see what we can do. We don't really need to roll our crew members because this is in stasis. We don't need to roll this. Uh, well, we'll, we will just to get some shots off. Right, a two. I'm just going to shut off. I'm going to use this one to change this die into a two. So that's been spent. I'm also going to use this one to change this die into a two. So we get one, two, three, four, five shots off. And we will go one, two, three. So that's now gone. Four, five. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. Those have been used. That's been used. This comes back from stasis. But again, we now draw another card. This is internal. This is good. So if we roll a six on the threat die then we can return one of these unfortunately we don't have any at the moment but there we go and we don't need to roll a threat die because that has no threats on it however we can roll because we make her a six he says throwing it on the floor and we do get a six which we didn't want because that means we can return one of these die from up here but we don't have any. Okay. 
Um, let's roll, see if we can get rid of this scout ship. Um, yes, we can. We have a two. We fire our weapon for one shot. One shot gets rid of the scout ship. Uh, I'm not going to use any of those because I don't need to. Keep going with the threats. Nothing, don't panic. Okay, so that nothing happens. We don't need to repair anything or remove anything, so I'm not going to even roll the die. Next, we have an assault cruiser. Okay, is it going to activate? We rolled a three. We needed a four or a five. So the assault cruiser doesn't activate. Let's get our crew. Let's see what we can get. We can get a shot off, like so, and which brings that down by one. One, we'll use a four as a stasis to block the attack next round. There is nothing else we need to do. We don't need to repair any hull. We don't need to get anything from the infirmary or remove a threat die up here. Don't need none of them. Next threat. All threats recover one damage. So every time I roll a two, then all threats will recover one damage. And I need two of these two fours to get rid of it. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have. Have a five. That would have activated this one, but because we have a stasis die on it, it's not going to activate. But that is returned. Uh, let's have a look. Let's roll our crew. Oh, for <laughs> Right, six, 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 and um, as soon as that gets filled, you immediately draw another threat, Whew, which is nothing happens. <laughs> and these are then returned. So we have a couple of twos. Um, and a five. So I'm going to hit for one, two, three points of damage. So one, two, dead. Three. Nothing to fix on the hull. Keep going. Nothing happens. Nothing to roll. Um, oh yes. Well, we can roll a two but then we don't have any threats to recover so we won't bother robot uprising so if we ever roll a one two or three on the threat die we have to send a unit to the infirmary that goes there so let's see we roll a four none of these i don't know if you can see that there none of these have a four so none of them activate uh, I am going to roll these to get rid of them. Because I get a six. So this five is used here to get rid of this. We need two fours. We don't have two fours. Two threes, two twos, which aren't much good to us. Except I am going to use a three to return the six. There we go. So carrying on. Okay, global effect. If you roll a two, we must discard five hull. And as you can see, 
there's nothing we can do about it. There's no hits it takes or anything. That's just going to happen. So I'm going to put that there, just to remind me. So let's take a look. So if we roll a two, whew, <laughs> if we rolled a two, all threats recover one damage, and the solar winds would take effect. But it hasn't, so I'm going to roll this die to remove this time warp. And we need two fours, and we've got the two fours. Yes, brilliant. So that is now discarded. Um, there's nothing else we can do with the die. We've got full shields and full health, so no, there's nothing. We have space pirates. Two goes there. All the threat die. We get a four. There's no four on that. There's no four there, so none of these take effect. We can roll our die. Ah, right, okay, we have a two. Let's have a look. Um, I'm going to use a, a one there to change this die face to a two. Where are you? To cause three points of damage. One, two, that's gone. So I've used them, I've used that. Nothing to repair, I've, there's nothing I can use these for. Okay. So we move on to the next. Ho oh, ho ho! So anything but a six, and this interceptor attacks at four. And I'll just put that there to remind, so remind me. Okay, here we go. It is a two. Okay, <laughs> solar winds is activated on the two. Five from the hull. So one, two, three, four. You take all the hits on the hull first, then you move over. Sorry, you take all the hits to the shields, then you move over to the hull. So we've taken four of the shields, and one is five, comes off the hull. Also, the interceptor, because we've got a two. So we take another one off. Oh. Oh, Alright, okay. Oh, would you believe it? One, two, three. Activates another threat in which nothing happens. I'm happy about that. Those are returned. We can't lose them. Um, right. I am going to, let's see, um, I think I will use the two to hit for one point that's been used and I'm going to use the one to change this into a four to go here to fully recharge my shields. So then that's a spent and then that's spent. Right, okie doke, next threat. Oh, okay. So next time we roll firing, they immediately go into the infirmary. Okay. So let's see if this interceptor and of course it does. Hits us again for one. Off the hull. Uh, sorry, off the shields first. There's the two. Immediately goes into the infirmary. Oh, oops. And a couple of sixes there. This is then discarded because they've gone into the infirmary. And I have a three, four and five, which is three, four, five. I will use the 
five to repair the hull. So because it's only one die, I can only repair one. That's used. I am going to use the four as a stasis to block that from the next attack. And I'm going to use the three. Um, oh, now what can I do? <laughs> I can either return the die from the infirmary or I can remove one of these threat die. If I leave the... Oh. <laughs> I will use it to remove a threat, I think. So as you can see, because I've got this in the infirmary, this up here, and this blocking this, I have now only three die for my next turn, and we need to get out another threat. Okay, cosmic ecstasy. Uh, existentialism must be completed before signing any other crew so we need to spend a shield die before we can use a shield die right okay uh, let's roll this threat die for this would have activated but we have a stasis die on it see what we can get here. Of course we get another six. We get a two. I may as well use the two to hit for one. Um, and we have a one. Now I'm not sure because it says you can use it here, use this one to change any other one dies to whatever face you want or to re-roll available crew now I'm assuming that you can't re-roll this one because you have to spend it so that really doesn't do anything for me and now I'm down to two, <laughs> two die okay oops three die because that now the stasis has come off Okay, meteoroid. Minus one health when destroyed, minus five hull. Okay. So I'm assuming here, because I don't know all the cards, I don't know how they all work, but I'm assuming this one is if I roll a one, if I roll a one, this moves down the health track one, down here. Of course, when it gets to the end. Right, I see. Yeah, I see how that works. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. We roll a one. Of course we do. That goes down one. The interceptor is going to attack us for one hole. Uh, and then we can roll our... Crew die. Oh. A six immediately another threat comes out after the threat phase roll the threat die again okay so if we roll a two everything with the two activates then we've got to re-roll again oh, oh dear um, we do have a two to hit uh, we will hit the interceptor. The one doesn't do anything for us. Of course, those are returned because I brought the threat. Okay, I'm going to move this slightly out the way to move this up so you can see these threats here because we need to turn over another threat. We have space pirates. Number two. Okay. Roll a threat die, which is a three. Anything with a three activates. Space pirates hit us for two. One, two. Interceptor hits us for one. We have no more shields, so it comes off the hull. Okay. And. 
Right, all our crew died. We have, of course, we have a six, a couple of twos, a four, and a one. Now I think I am going to spend the four and the one to get rid of this cloaked threat. So four and the one, as we can see from this little chart. Where are we? There we go. One is the face. Four. One and four. So that's gone. These are returned here. Um, we shall... We've got three hit points. So I'm going to go one. Two. Three. So then, I then returned. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we are going to draw another threat. A bomber. Okay, and if we roll these, we have to send another one to the infirmary. Let's see. Okay, we've rolled a three. No threes here, nothing happens. We do have these to roll. So I am going to, there's another six. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna use a three to return this from the infirmary, finally. <laughs> So, I'm going to use the five to repair one point to the hull, and I'm going to use the two to hit this bomber. Yep, that's it so far. Next threat shields offline, minus one health when destroyed, shields online. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing that our shields go to zero immediately. And once this is destroyed, our shields go back on. Now, I'm not sure whether they go back on to one, or whether they go back on fully. Um, I'm going to say fully, just for this playthrough. I'm sure you can find it online somewhere, exactly how this one works. But as you notice, we have something already in three. That's fine. You can have more than one thing in the same health spot. And we go, our shields are already offline anyway. So we have a four, um, minus one health. We also have a four here, minus one to the hull. So we can't do the shields, so minus one to the hull. And send a dice to the infirmary. Very nice. Okay, that's all those activated. We take another threat. Invaders, send a unit to the infirmary on a four or a two. If we have two weapons, we can use those two weapons to get rid of this. So I'm going to put that there. We only have three die left. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Another threat. I may not assign any repair to the hull. Unless I get rid of this. Um, okay. These dice are returned. Um, I am going to use... I'm going to have to use a three. get rid of this card. That's returned. We have a five. I'm going to use the five 
to repair one hull like so right okay uh, let's carry on boarding ship there's a four and when we attack it it looks like we're going to send one weaponry to the infirmary hmm okay so we roll these we have many many ones okay so I am going to spend two ones actually put that back I'm not going to roll them because I need to roll a threat die We get a one. So this moves down one. This moves down one. Um, nothing else has a one. So we've got there. Roll leave. Let's see what we get. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a four to get rid of this one. And um, I'm going to use a three to bring this guy back from the infirmary. I will then use a one to change this into a two and I will hit this nebula so now this means when this is destroyed my shields can come back online so I've used them two Okay, I'm going to take one more turn and that'll be it. Um, I'm sure you get the gist how to play for. And then we will roll. Am I missing a die? Two. Oh, yes, there's another five. Right. I've done it again. <laughs> Don't roll these before you roll a threat die, which is a four. So, minus two in the hole, we're at zero, so one, two. I'm not sure how this works. Hmm. So maybe after this is activated, when I roll my crew die, any of these go straight to the infirmary, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. But we rolled a four, so that activates. That doesn't. That doesn't. This does. Minus one hull. Minus one hull. And send a unit to the infirmary. I'll go there. This also activates for because we rolled a four. So another unit goes to the infirmary. So I need to now roll. see what we get. Six goes there. Oh, okay. So we have a three, a five, and a three. So I'm going to use one three to get all these dice back from the infirmary. One three to remove one of these. And this five to repair one to the hull. So that's it guys, that's how the game's played and you make your way through all these different threats. I've just stuck them on bits of cardboard but of course the kickstart version will be a, a lot better. Proper die with the proper icons on them. Uh, you just work your way through trying to get rid of the threats 
either externally on this side, internally on that side. Uh, make your way through the threat deck, you've won. If these ever reach zero and you get another hit, you've lost. So I hope you enjoyed that little mini game playthrough of this print and play Deep Space D6. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I will leave links to the print and play files um, on Board Game Geek as well as to the forum for this on Board Game Geek and to the Kickstart link, which as of this video going up, it's live. So you can take a look uh, and see what you think. So Deep Space D6 print and playthrough, that's it. And I will catch you guys later.